intentions are already flying through, and that's the smoke. It's so deep. Look at this. A it's split. so they can wrap A. Oh, it's nerdy. Perfecto has to acknowledge and respect it. Electronics set up for success as well, but they've been kind of held at bay by virtue of this crossfire, the smoke fading now, it's not going to last for forever. Boomich sitting duck here. They will re-smoke and go. Electronic's been waiting for a long time for that frag, and Boomich will try and deny. Electronic confirms they're pushing through. No one was holding. Acor does find a crucial frag, and looking good for Mouse now. Only simple in the donut, and it's far from sweet. Or maybe he's actually managed to make it look rather sweet indeed. A double kill. It doesn't look like it could be round winning. Considering the health of Mouse Sports, I'm not ready to condemn them just yet. Simple has your heavy lifting. Put Perfecto in a position to win this. He fakes the steps, hoping to lull Frozen in. They are both within that one click range. Now, there is a kit on site. He can take his time here. There's a chance this becomes the 1v1. Frozen. <laughs> Holds his nerve. Ooh, what a pistol. Way to kick this one off here. And I think there's going to be uh, a, a real sentiment about Mouse Sports' T side that is all about mid control here. I think. Uh, oh, we do have a technical timeout called. The, the reason we were delayed there, guys, and the reason that we are a little bit delayed for the day, Steam went down earlier. That threw us into a bit of a tailspin. And to kick this one off, we had a drama with one of Navi's individuals. So. I'm assuming this technical timeout is to deal with that. I had the weirdest Counter-Strike audio bug the other day mm -hmm. where every other facet of my sound was fine, but in game, my Counter-Strike audio was reversed. Like my left ear was my right cup, my okay. right cup was my left. That's curious. Did uh, you fix it? I spent a whole wingman feeling like I actually had like a full auditory disability. Like mm. I just couldn't react. Everything was in front of me. Like steps that were supposed to be in front of me were behind me. Mm. Kept just turning around in a paranoid schizophrenic kind of stance, but yeah. It's, did, did you solve it? I did, just by uh, the turning game. it on and off again. Yeah, that's normally the, the way that it works, isn't it? But that's quite funny. Um, I can tell a story to do with reverse sound because we maybe have a little bit... Never mind. I lie. <laughs> Perfecto says we're ready. So we don't need to get into podcast mode just yet. The Back underway. Well, actually, tell you what, speaking of reversed, you know, it, I'm, I've got a lot of pressure on uh, Acor today. Sure. Okay. Um, just just like Jack Inya? He does. Yeah. He needs to reverse uh, the the, the, the scoreline, the curse, certainly. And actually, his name is Roker backwards. Okay. So he just has to head, he's headshot been, and such. He's been doing the opposite of headshot, headshotting and such okay. so far. He, well, I guess he just needs to learn. It's pretty simple: headshot and such. That's all he's got to do. So mid on the docket here, control garnered early and simple. Back in that donut position here, will be smoked off. Now, a lot you can do with this, and when you get mid-control, questions have to be asked from the CT side defense. One of the B defenders traditionally will float on back to deal with the red house, the top mid position, and that is electronic this time round. What's he lining up there? Just for our own insight, we'll find out. Dexter with a smoke from the box. That could even go to Temple, you know, yeah, here with could. a little bit of angle, or bounce back and cover off towards CT spawn. But hanging around in mid here, the smokes have faded. The Deagle is up to the plate. Oh, come on, Simple. You're up against a scout. It was a slither gap. You're supposed to have a disadvantage. Well, was the Temple smoke too? It's arrived in Temple, and it will channel the CTs to either respect it or wait it out. Bit in a lovely little off angle here. Should be good for the first and the second on the cards. Lovely finds from Bit. Chops them down to size. It's down to Dexter and Robs to recover. Close, easy denial. Oh, it's going to fall apart. Robs can only get the one and Na'Vi. A Ooh. solid team effort. Boomich firing up right there. And look, as we have Bit hitting some lovely, lovely headshots, right? Uh, as they got stuck in, uh, we have to talk about maybe giving Bit Scream's old nickname. The headshot machine. Yeah. Because Scream's gone, guys. I know that we wish that he was still with us, but he's gone. <laughs> should we call Bit, and I want to put this out there to, to everybody at home, should Bit become the headshot machine? I mean, you know, I feel like names are given uh, rather than they are taken. And Bit, okay. we'll check his stats. I, I think Smooya, when he was on HTV Confirmed, mentioned that, uh, I'll have to double check this, that Bit's headshot percentage at Cologne was higher than like peak screams. So that's yeah, definitely the, oh, leading into the conversation. There's good grounds to it. I'm, I think it was in the 70 region for a whole tournament, which is just, it sounds absurd. I don't think that could be right. Know, let me let me check while yeah. we have this. You, you, can, you dive in, I'll keep the, uh, the water warm. Keep the people happy. Simple so far is two for two in his mid presence. Uh, even on that pistol, he was a threat and made that pistol threatening and certainly converting nicely into that opener onto a core. For now, it's going to be the boys. 
Rops and Dexter dispatch to middle. And a late B arrival. Okay, Dexter could have the element of surprise here. And he does convert that necessary one deeg. That will pull Electronic over to address. And he's done well to at least oh, undress the entire Mouse Sports mid presence. Well, it pulled the rotate off. They have only got one player to worry about on B if they do opt for a little cave wrap. Cave wrap, that does sound like something from a mid 90s cheesy cafe, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, the Ogre Boogers. Yeah, exactly what I'm thinking of. Those juice boxes with all the jungle characters on them. The oh. bone through the hair. Yeah. 25, poor souls of Mouse Sports looking a little lost and a little wounded. Oh, that's Cracker out of Bemis. Be I mean, bit here's him coming. More headshots demanded of him, and there's two of the three. Frozen continues his run. I'm not sure if he can beat Perfecto for Ooh, a plant. He might get it down. Quickly getting that code in, and he will have his weapon out for the first fight. Oh. Perfecto laughs it off. Okay. Good plant. Good plant. Now, um, that's going to help them out a lot here, but I don't know if it's going to be enough to spur them into a, a buy. Did you dig for bits numbers? I, yeah, in Cologne, he 69.6% yeah. uh, at his first land. Wow, it was actually nearly 70. 69%. Yeah, yeah it was... Uh, Headshots in an entire tournament. Yeah, I can uh, I can have a have another little bit of a look here in terms of other events. If <laughs> How like. deep could you go for, like, you know, like a Scream stat to compare it to? Oh, Like uh, a land I could Scream... Just to, yeah, Scream's last event, maybe. Oh, we could have a whole statistic here. Now, normally... And I, and I want to be uh, uh, during the where are we here? The Starlet at RMR, he had 67%. Um, I, I just want to be honest with people back in the day, I thought that the headshot percentage was just one of the most useless statistics. But um, the, the more I've become accustomed with how good individually some players are and, and what that means in not lowering mistakes, but the best way to kill somebody is a headshot. Right? Right? You know what, you, I know it sounds silly. I know it sounds ridiculous. It sounds ridiculous. No, I know what you're saying. But when you, tra when you, when you crunch the numbers, yes. the X's and the O's, and you get on down to it, if he is just every single time he fires a bullet getting a headshot, he's more likely to get that second kill. Absolutely. I mean, that's the separating factor as well in people's spray control. Like, yes. I, I think the people that can do those little eight-round bursts and everything is destined for the head, just one of them has to connect, you know, and I think that can be a separating factor in someone's ability to multi-kill. Well, they are walking into mid. It does feel like Electronics got three here. And uh, they're just boosted over. I love the idea. Uno, dos, stress. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Simple has been deployed. He was previously dispatched for a little bit of an A-horse hold. Now he's starting his choke hold, in fact, on Rops, who's looking the wrong way. No, no. Mm-mm. We can get both here. Yeah. Secures the first. Boomich gets the last. And okay. I think he's well a bit then. hyped about this. What's going on, Boomich? What's going on, mate? So can we quickly reflect on Mouse Sports' uh, inclination for Ancient? Well, they beat FaZe yesterday on it. Yeah. And uh, I, I think that in terms of being a, a team in Mouse Sports' position, right? Where the impact comes from, most expect to see a boost on the box, maybe check, hang out in that B lane. He's got the bomb on his back as well. I imagine that will be left somewhere safe. And the boost might not come easy with nades onto the nose of Frozen. Yeah, set me up, please. Thank you. It's pushed quite aggressive over towards A main during all of this here. And they will have to flash Simple off the line before peeking. Be careful with that barrel. He spotted it. Simple he knows. knows it's coming. He knows. And he's flashed for himself. Simple will pull the trigger. Acor at least now knows he has the advantage. Simple will have to peek into him. But with the smoke deployed, he thinks better of it. Very ratty gap here, you'll see it. And he can line up for the smoke spray. Oh, Acor caught out. Boomich catching him with some real nuanced stuff there. A tiny little gap. Waits a couple of seconds to strike. And that's the Orpa gone. Gonna have to patch that out, aren't we? Come on, Volvo, what's going on? Yeah, I mean, why can we see through that, but we can't wall bang in the giant wooden bomb that you can plant for? The giant wooden wall that you can plant for. Yeah, it needs to be doing oh. something about that. But Boomich might be off for another here. Look oh. at him go. Yeah, I mean, he's done more than enough to recover for the loss of Simple there. That's great from Boomich. And Perfecto's planting his feet here. Util super light. I mean, they've got some flames. I don't know how they plan to utilize them. Turns the flash wonderfully in Electronic, having no issues so far. Awkward angles for Rops. He's snappy, though. And he's actually prioritizing the plot. He's being pushed on. 
a little short of the mark there from Mouseport. Yeah, that one just not going in their favor whatsoever with that opening killer boomage. How are you even meant to respond to that? You know, you've just walked past the gap. Next minute, you're dead. So this is one way that teams are being able to uh, toy with the cave smoke that the T's throw from spawn. And we saw Acorn throw that at the start of the round. Here's the boomage opener. And that kind of just threw things into disarray. The late peaks coming on out. Now, I suppose that you could deal with that if you wanted to drop that cave smoke and then maybe put a molly just behind it so nobody can be playing through it. But it seems like a lot of utility for something that probably shouldn't exist in the first place. Back down to the pistols here. Cool, I don't fancy your chances trying to fight mid for, against Simple and Electronic. Never mind Boomich from the ledge. Oh, it's a massacre. Well, <laughs> says Frozen, I'll try something else. Let me go knock on another door here. But this map, especially over towards the B site, feels like it's perfect for Boomich, right? You know, you can push that B lane, you get an MP9 out, you start looking a little bit aggressive. Boomich is territory. And for Bit, well, him getting tasked as the solo A defender, as the rookie of this team, it's a, it's a big position to hold. But I think with Yanko, Yanko's conversation on the desk about how he's just come in and he's performing immediately, I think that, uh, that that's bang on. Like, Bit hasn't really skipped too many beats. I think um, we did his first game where he got to sub in for one round for Electronic one time. He That's came right. in and did one round of overpass. <laughs> and then uh, he's been, he was on their, their junior roster. And uh, well, now he's on the main team and won Cologne. So it's been quite the revelation. But here we go again. Full buy round. No AWP for Simple this time. It's such an interesting element of the way this map functions in that you can just have someone pressing their ear to donut and immediately know if fast fast day is a possibility. Oh, nice boost. Ah, it through. Yeah, he's got a lot of speed behind him. He does eliminate Dexter, drop the smoke preemptively. And already a man advantage again seized by an RV. It leaves Mouseports wanting. Oh, Acor very wide on this boosted box. He's begging for a way back in and... His team are going to try and seize it. Need another Boomage. Oh, another multi-kill out of Boomage. And you can see that the, as the dust settles, it leaves a very lonely Rops. Ouch. Talks Cut noise. Tasks, yeah. Well, like, this has happened a few times to Mouse. What are they meant to do? I'm not writing him out of the script just yet. I reckon if he cuts noise for another f no, no, no. few seconds, he might have been able to at least not have a 1v3 with all three. <laughs> <laughs> peeking him at the same time. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi. Uh, I, I'll be going now. <laughs> we won't be coming back to the B-bomb side anytime soon. That They're, was a nice little move. They used the run boost to get simple up there on the ledge. That, both of their gun rounds have felt very limp. Yeah, they ha well, they haven't. Well, like this yeah, happens. You're down a man. Every and, time. Then an A comes. And the call was to go B. They, they definitely wanted to go B. You could just tell with all the resources that they're throwing there. So maybe it was going to be something a bit snappier. But, uh, well... So far, it's been like gun round pistols, gun round pistols, back on the bloody pistols here. And the most convincing thing Mouse Wants have done was the pistol round where they went for that mid to B, uh, A split. Just call Boomich Mr. Good for two, because so far that is exactly what he's been. And here he comes again. Let's see if he can stay true to his word. This time denied. The counter flash though should be good for one. And a second is found. Perfect has got full control of lane. And it's all locked down. Now, Rops is a little ahead of the pack, unfortunately for him. The cruel reality of things is that Simple's got him dead to rights. Hold it in the A halls this time, and oh, actually, just as he averts his gaze, Rops has a little jiggle, so there is a minor gap. Any sound cue in those A halls from Acor or Dexter will be heard temporarily by that donut player now evacuating. They'd love a plant, Chad, but we're talking about the A site here. <laughs> yeah, look, then we'll do very well just to get across to this big box, I think. Bit flashed off. How many headshots are you giving us now? There's one, and no follow up. You're just not going to plan. Simple's just not going to let it happen. Quick about this. Oh, lovely. Okay. Well, that, summon out of nothing. They needed that as well. That's only their second plant so far within this half. And well, now we're talking, we're eight rounds deep. Now, at the moment, this is still seen as a CT heavy map. And I think uh, a lot of that is like these T rounds. Uh, really, really, I don't think we've completely settled in on where the meta is. The pros will tell you we probably have, but I think when we see different stuff every single game, things still being evolved upon, the meta hasn't settled in as much as obviously some of the other maps. That's just the way things go. Uh, I, I don't know 
if you're not getting the B lane for free, right? So one and everybody fragging very well. Perfecto down the bottom there with four, but it's not like he's needed to do a whole lot here. So here we go one more time. Out mid we go. Very oh, quick. Yeah, a lot of space. Frozen, I've seen him try this up against FaZe Clan, and every time so far he's been greeted by that red room hold. Electronic gets a free frag, uncleared. And Dexter fancies his chances once again, knocking on Boomich's favorite spot. If he just goes for the smoke spray, he's got something, but as it fades, I don't know who it favors. Okay, so the timer on that, right? So Boomich hangs around, starts to fade, falls on back. Now Cave could be mouse sports. A lot of corners to clear and check. Look at the rotations from Na'Vi, it's very re reactive. The absence of information, Electronic doesn't have any answers in mid just yet, and that's why Simple has been called apart. Oh, they're clearing out through mid. They might just be flanking these B attack uh, attackers before they know it. Mm, nice little cave smoke from Perfecto. Can throw that safely. Oof. Ooh. Very deep, Very isn't it? deep. Yeah, that's going to really nullify. They're going to be coming out with grey screens. And... Well, they bait out Boomich. Lovely play from them. They haven't got flanking. any lethality, though, and the flank is coming in quite quick from Cave. Acor, big find. Simple's gone, but Electronic, he's right behind you, Dexter. Another from Beamer through the smoke, and oh. that's the frag they needed. Looking set for a second. It's only bit attacked up Boomich. Considering their options now, zero nades to be thrown. Looking to scavenge anything on the way out, and Rops might not let that happen. Bit does not bend the knee, does not succumb to the hunt. And we'll be looking at a second for Mouse Sports. A hard fought one at that. Just getting through Boomich seems to be half the battle. Yeah, we're just waiting for that smoke to fade so they can at least have a fair fight against him. So taking the pace off was the key. Frozen, remember how he went down? First. 15 seconds of that round, straight of the guts of mid, lurking through the smoke, electronic more than ready. Yeah, saw Carrigan getting that kill a couple of times on the Frozen, it's just, uh, I mean, you, you can see the idea, he's hoping to be catching just a uh, CT slip in and a Orpa looking the wrong way. I think that gap becomes a lot more prevalent if you are able to condition them to think that B early pounces are a problem, so they have to start playing three towards B. And then your mid defender who goes window or donor is going to be in one of the two positions, and then maybe you're able to get past them. Shallow Molly there. Missed Molly over towards B. BMAS straight on in. Oh, and they found Boomich without much more than a graze on the knee. That's a huge change up from the typical lay of the land. Let's see if Mouse Sports can capitalize upon this. Acor smoked off on ramp for now, and Mousepots do want to continue this adventure. Perfecto is going to be set up for success, peaking with his team's util. Na'Vi want to actively contest this. Electronic looking very threatening. Bemis was ready for him, and if Perfecto goes down... Oh, that site is open for business. They don't even have to rush this. No reason to. It's a five versus two. You don't want to take any chances here. Use your nades, clear your corners. And hopefully save if you bit, because going for this one right now, not making the financial sense. Should be the third here. Bomb goes down. 40 seconds thrust onto the clock. And can, I, can I have a history lesson? Sure. How much was Dexter on your periphery when you were competing in Australia? He played for a team called like SYF. So was he like the? I don't know if how, like is he was he competing for the same period you were in CS:GO? Uh, yeah, but just at the like they were. I don't think they were ever. a a problem? Threat. No, no, yeah. No, like I, I, for us it was the other old boys, right? Like JKS was the only one who really came through and was like, oh, here we go, here we go. Yeah. Actually, I tell a bit of a lie. Towards the tail end, this is when we moved to North America. So for us, we, so we, you're in we, Vegas, we weren't depressed. clashing with them a lot, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We weren't clashing with them a lot, but they had taken uh, the best Oz in Oz team. Right, Dexter was playing with uh, like Top Gun and stuff for a while there, right? Uh, so it was kind of some weird rosters that they had in the mix. Um, so, oh, he also played for, for Winter Fox as well. Oh, no, that's a name I haven't heard. In yeah, some time. I went back to like very, uh, when you asked me about Dexter, I went yeah. back to like really early in my brain, like super, super early. I mean, then remember. But, uh, uh, the knock on the door. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, the guy knocked on my door last night. He goes, Mr. Birchwood, did you order towels? And I'm just standing towels. there like, no. No, sir. Fast, very fast, bit flustered, one for one. We have got a very early exchange in middle. And simple, the fact that he often occupies donut 
is going to be a deterrent in itself. Like, I don't know about you, but if I'm Mouse Sports, I really don't fancy that line in the sand that Simple Zorp draws. He's about to be smoked off here, so he's actually going to push the issue past it. And it's a good call, because Great that call. right there was just a... A fake, really, just to force vision towards middle and have a lot of questions asked. They're heading over towards A, and this is not easy to take without any mid presence whatsoever. We discussed it yesterday. Yeah. Simple is alone. And repositioning for an active fight. <laughs> what a headshot out of Rops. He keeps Simple honest. Well, they're in at least. There's no donut pressure either. They might get the bomb down here. Oh, look at that Son nade! Of a monkey. That's a great nade. Oh, and another's gone down. Oh, and more headshots to go. Oh, and it falls apart for Mouse. The hard part was done. Yeah, well, on A, <laughs> you had the bomb in your grasp and you'd beaten Simple. But Perfecto denies and a nice multi-kill out of him. And an important round to win there. I think if Na'Vi had stomached another loss, their funds would have been looking a lot bleaker than they are right now. So bouncing back after the two consecutive Mouse Sports rounds. And you can just see this biff of mid control here. Smoke's not mid, Molly's close, extinguish, flashes, it's all going on. Some great flashes here as well. Setting them up, perfecto, good stuff. Dexter with a smoke toward, uh, sorry, a Molly towards the ledge. No, you keep missing the lane Molly. You can see how much space it gives Beamus. It's because they keep trying to throw it while jumping. Oh, this time, Frozen's out mid. You talked about it being a crucial component of mid control. Yeah, so this here should make life a little bit easier for them to operate now. They can see that they've dissuaded anybody once the mid smoke clears. And I'm not sure if they're intentionally... This mid smoke that they've been throwing... Oh, hold up a second. Beamass might have company here. Yeah, it's a gap in that smoke. Yeah. Is was, that by design? That's that what I wasn't cute. I was curious about that because last round it was a different one, but it also missed. Hmm. Well, that's going to get the B defenders dropping some util. In fact, a very quick smoke drop cave. Ben and Simple are going to be very isolated from the pack if you do just all in here. Now, what, I'm doing a quick util check. I see two smokes. Here they go. Okay, so it's Boomich and Perfecto up against the entirety of Mouse Sports. Nice off angle here for Perfecto. He's rescinding now. They're allowing them into the site, so the bomb should go down. But because they maintain cave, where are you going to play post plant from? Ooh, well, Dexter could try and bail you out. He wasn't ready for another, though, and now they know. And there, the after plant. This is why this site can really feel like a bit of an awkward achievement. Like, They've got the bomb down, Chad, but if Na'Vi walk in and just start defusing, it's, it might be over. If Simple smokes the top of the ramp, they're done, Zerd. Yeah, essentially, which is odd and not common. They are flanking onto Perfect. Oh, perfect little off angle, just as Beam has, has set its clear. And Well, should we just accept the round's lost now, or will Frozen go for the denial? He needs this one. Bullet! Oh, and he's found it more than enough! What a recovery! The missed orb shot is the window into a fourth round for Mouse. Oof, that right there should not have been a Mouse Sports round. So they should have been smoked off. There should have been no way in. I cannot believe that Frozen has pulled that one off. Oh, look what it's done to Na'Vi. So Dexter does very well for holding this cave and keeping it honest. We now find Perfecto in that offing. And they really hunt him down. So much pressure onto him. Acor was posted up for this just as the smoke bloomed and Acor defending his oh. teammate on that re-peak from Simple. That ramp smoke was actually quite deep, wasn't it? Yeah. It wasn't at the top of the ramp, so had that buffer to work with, it would have been grey screen otherwise. So they played the round correctly here, but didn't profit. And Perfecto is purchased into an M4, so with a bit of extra cash to splash, he has to be the difference maker because everybody else is down to pistols. And a half that was looking like it was going to be very honest for Mouse Sports is now wide open. They convert this, we're looking at five. Electronic's looking like he wants to boost his teammate here, but don't know how effective that can be. Let's have a look. Could have been a little element of surprise if Acorp was still pro posted up there. But shaping up okay for the Mouse Sports boys. Dexter's going looking. He wants some info and simple deagle. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Long range. Dismantles Acor's skull, but leaves us in a 4v4, and I think that could be the hard part done. Yeah, if they just pivot through Donut towards A now, it might be a bit of an open runway. This is where it could get interesting. Flashed in, Boomich resides, P250. Gets one, so we're still on here. 40 seconds left. Yeah, and this is actually a really hard clear for Dexter. I don't envy him. So many angles. 
bit goes low. Oh! Oh! It's so sketch! He's dead and another weapon falls into enemy hands. Okay, Bemis and Robs, you've got such a lovely utility belt there. Two flashes apiece. Molotovs are plenty. Both now deployed to ensure that bomb goes down. An unarmored bit, but an armored electronic and perfecto. And Bit's the first to actually try and clear out Donut. His crosshair placement supreme. And he actually wins out the duel. Rops has been handed a real dud 1v3 to actively fighting. And there's two of the three. Perfecto, the tail end of it, just to ensure the trade is there. Solid delivery. Nine oh, for Navi. This is going to start to sting right now if you're a Mouse Sports fan. They won the pistol, they lost the follow up to Deagles. They've done the hard work. They won a clutch that they should have never been able to get back out of off of Frozen and Acor's brilliance. And then up against the pistols again. But they just spoon it. They drop the ball. Ah, if you think about that, let's say they converted the second round. Let's say they converted this one here. This could be a much more competitive affair so far for Mouse Sports. So they're going to be kicking themselves. Yeah, and when you frame it like that, Chad, it's actually, yeah, it's quite confronting when you realize how close it has been from our sports to have at even half, uh, at minimum. Simple's been boosted up. He's going for a very quick peek, and previously it's been successful. Now he fires off a warning shot. Acor will respond. Vision was obscured there, and Simple made to look a little foolish on the aggress. A couple of missed shots. Don't see that out of Simple too often. Yeah, and let's see if that builds into anything substantial. They could just all in commit. Drop your nades. Going for the push and perfecto. Oh, damn. He's made it competitive at least. Oh, oh and Rob looks the wrong way. What's going on? That timing. We've it's seen some a couple bad of those. Counter strike timing, but that, that oh, is absurd. Oh my God, just as he wiggled his mouse away and now from behind. Oh, it hurts. It really does. This is a heartache for the boys of Mouse. Frozen needs one and then somehow being allowed to escape. It's a fake. And they're looking for your 10 for Navi. Do, if, I don't know if we can, but maybe you at home should in the demo. Just watch that Rops turn away. Like frame by frame. Like watch it as slow as you possibly can. Uh, that one really, like really see, stinks. You just got CSGO. And it started so wonderfully. You've killed Simple. Perfecto does so well here, pushing through the smoke. He catches, they're just not expecting someone to disrespect oh. the smoke. And you can see Rob's just avert his gaze. His whole, oh. his whole job was to just catch that little late flank and look what Electronic ends up doing. All right, last round of the first half. Let's get Ancient, at least the first half of it, concluded. We get to see if they leave that gap intentionally now, I guess. If they are throwing that window smoke, here's the lineup. Rush been teaching us all. That's actually just for the donut side. That top mid one seems to have worked this yeah. time around. So they've scampered quickly in for the mid control. Hey, this looks like something substantial. Oh, they've played it well on the fade. Very potent corner. And Dexter with more high impact fragging. Hello. Needed that. Had the bomb. This is yeah. the pistol round all over again. Oh, it is. And they'll attempt to push into Simple with the tightest of lines. Look at what he's playing with. Oh my god. And he will drop a smoke to play around so he can get back into Temple and mess around with that. Oh, bit with another. Simple's ready for the A-Hall's late. Bomb's now loose. Frozen is still between the two of them. Oh. Oh, he's got so many targets. He's got to manage. First, very snappy. Does eliminate bit from Donut. But still got to find Simple and he's having no issues here. You'd have to spray down. Nice from Rops. Five sounds a whole lot better than four for Mouse, but they've got 30 seconds to Find the remaining two, Healthy, Boomich, and Perfecto. Oh, I'd love a smoke, but this wide open bomb site is going to just be a, a fragging battle more than anything else. Crosshair placement flawless from Bemus, and it does get a whole lot more likely now. Oh, don't think they've spotted him. He's been able to close the gap and nicely. Rob's looking the wrong way. Bemus at least spots him out. And now they're just hunting for 10 seconds. If he could stop the plant, if he could stop the plant, it could get awkward. It could, but it won't. 10 to 5, everyone. Yeah, I think uh, Electronic leading the charge here had some cheeky beaky flanks. But now we get underway here. There is a top mid smoke in play. Lane control being worked on. Beatmas delivers. And he's so blind. He has got a teammate, though, to call upon, and he doesn't even need the help. The bomb oh. could not be in a worse position. Oh, yeah, he couldn't. 
Guys, just come cave and we can hold the bomb and win the round. And two of the three don't have armor. But simple. Oh, kept very honest. Did initiate onto Rops. Frozen takes him down. Rushley is joining us uh, through the power of the internet to observe your game. And Electronic dumping all his How days. does he manage this? I mean, he's going to bunny hop in. Everyone misses all their shots. Oh, he kills one and the Molotov makes it awkward for Beamus, who's just going to win the round. That's all him, baby. Got that is hot. lovely. Got real hot in there for a moment. Okay. Well, that's both pissed around from our sports. Let's see. The CT side, it is going to need to be almost flawless here. Navi, what do you have to offer? No plant. Means no ability to drop some AK 47s across. I am intrigued to see how Navi's T side contrasts with Mouse Sports. Yeah, it, it, look, I know when we had some of the RMR events on, a lot of the CIS teams, Spirit and VP, I think it were, they were going straight for like AXX, which didn't seem to be panning out for them a lot. I think a lot more like the European squads were going for more B stuff. If you guys remember Hampus saying just go B on a map like Ancient. Beamus just locks down Cave. Uh, this Cave and that lane, B lane, are probably two of the most important parts of the map. They're obviously connected, so we could just call this one area. I think it's has been one of the most important parts of the whole map, if not the most important part of the entire map. Just some warning shots here. Now, this shouldn't be too many dramas for Mouse Sports to deal with. Yeah, they're going to test Rops. And Good he's luck. got the perfect weapon for the job. Let's see how many $600 kill rewards he can get. Zero is the answer. Simple just as is. Tradition with Simple. Frozen isn't going to be able to deny that plant, so Na'Vi gets something out of this very light investment. That ain't bad. Certainly not bad at all. And Electronic, he's ready for at least a first. Jumped across, though. And so a bomb plant down. That's extra cash for Na'Vi to splash. Okay, well, just going to pick up all the weapons they need to. Maybe grab those upgraded pistols as well. Any bonuses you could find would be fantastic. They're doing exactly that. Scooping up nades, scooping up pistols, and scooping up the defuse. Scoreline now will sit at 10 to 7. That plant is going to facilitate a beautiful looking Navi buy here. About 5k on most. Electronic even has a little bit extra at 5.8. So everything Navi need for this one. And we have, if we find a fish, was that a fish in the water? I didn't know that there were fish present in it. I could have been seeing things. Maybe it wasn't a fish. I don't know. I just thought you were saying words. It was like a little kind of verbal... Fish, dog, cat, yeah. horse, <laughs> yeah. giraffe, donkey, frog. Well done. Thank you. Good job, Chad. Naming the animals. Yeah, we're going to do the farm next. Today, <laughs> we are naming the animals. The dog goes... Wolf. Nice. And the Navi goes... Split. Oh, I like this from Dexter. You can flash towards middle from this position. He wants to set Frozen up for a swing. Flash over. Swings out. Sees not a whole lot. So Rops and Frozen, the donut and A defenders. Mm, simple Head up. dispatch through mid. He, he did the same on the pistol. Uh, he's probably the best man for the job, but he's going to be duking it out with Frozen for supremacy of that mid control. And Bits progressing A as well around these smokes. Aggression all over the map, and Na'Vi have been received with a big double. Take down Dexter's push of ramp, Frozen caught out as well. Just so many questions right now if you're Mouse Sports. You lost the player Donuts, you don't know if mid's open. It looks like they want to take the bomb A with Electronic and Simple late. Oh, he's into Rops here, so careful about this one, boys. Still over towards the uh, Xbox on the B side. Uh, A side even. Jesus, yeah. Joseph and Mary. <laughs> it is technically closer to the seat and right side of the Yeah, don't get me with the technicality. <laughs> I should know better. <laughs> All right, Rops. You've got a lot to deal with. In fact, the entire Navi squad is coming for you and Bit. Head on a swivel. Good for one. Perfecto is nearly good for another as well. It is just Beamass really with a, a voice in this round. Looking for the denial. Won't get that. Perfecto staring right at him, and Bemis needs to reload. Five bullets. Boomich to push him in. Doesn't get the angle he was hoping for. And that's the end of that. Na'Vi do post their 11th, and it came 
Just as a slow conversion of those two frags. I think slow is the key there, waiting out all that, all that early util. You know, not getting involved in any of those fights. Boomich from the uh, pocket position over towards B, staying alive was important. But yeah, it was just about waiting out any early aggression. Now that Mouse Sports have stomached that, they will make the funds work to at least get out an M4 on Bemis and an AWP for Acor. But Ooh. if you guys saw Acor's opening yesterday, left uh, a little bit to be desired. Let's see if he can find some impact here. He has to. This is mandatory right now. Very early cave presence and pressure. <sighs> Big nade to dodge there. Doesn't have any armor whatsoever, does Acor. And him and Dexter walking towards the same aggress that Dexter brought into the previous one. Perfecto. Waiting. Oh, no. Oh, Mouse Sports put so many of their eggs into that basket and it's just cracked. And so simple. Just as much as he is jacked. Bemis, M4, head on a swivel, rightfully so. There's ramp and cave pressure. It's just a question of who wants to blink first. Electronic collects, call it 12. 21 kills for Electronic so far. Having a bit of a game of things here. Simple's found uh, six kills, I believe it was, in this second half. So starting to come alive as well. Bomb will go down. Rops is looking for an exit, I suppose. Only the Deagle to carry on through. The next round is 1,900 into the bank balance. It will have to be an eco from Mouse Sports. So two rounds from now before we see the guns come back out. And uh, this is just feels like Na'Vi are going to slowly creep and crawl over that line. Now, later today, the final game of the day, maybe it'll be a little bit delayed due to the delays we had earlier on, but it will be FaZe versus EG. Uh, but sooner we have Mirage as map number two and then Nuke as the third and final. It's if quite, the, quite the solid uh, map pool for Na'Vi to finish, isn't it? But Mirage being picked by Na'Vi, that's not that common. I suppose that's more of a... Uh, opponent-centric pick. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't know if it has become more often. I'm just going to quickly flip through their Cologne games because I remember them playing it a little bit in Cologne, right? They played it against G2. G2 picked it into them. They picked us too. What did they play against FaZe? Against FaZe, FaZe picked Inferno and Na'Vi picked Mirage. Okay. And then uh, against Vitality, Na'Vi picked Nuke and Vitality picked Overpass. So being pretty flexible in the map pool. Three series consecutively, three different map choices. Well, that's the dream for a team, to be able to be able to just play whatever feels right for the opponent. Now, there's no flash here for these individuals stuck up towards Red House. So if they had a flash, then maybe I could see them pushing through the smoke. But... Uh, they're going to have to scamper back to a different bomb site, and it looks like A is where they'll reside. I mean, at least they've got themselves the, the stack in the right place. Rops' Deagle is, is no slouch. And Bit and Simple seem very hesitant to cross that line. So they've spotted likely two players here. So it's not enough information to completely react off of, but the fact that Electronic is closed donut Boomich is also bringing up the rear in middle and now Perfecto over towards A. It seems like they do want to finish with this A bomb site. All right. Let's see what you can get done with a single $700 pistol. Oh, wait, of course, made his USP work and Rops' his has found two heads. Swallows the grenade. Boomich is going to lock down the rotate. You can see there's an interesting timing here. There's an ancient exclusive. Oh, Rops doesn't go down. That's going to be a get bit done. of a weird one now. So they are going to rush and race each other to the B bomb site. Acor confirms they're not bat doubling back on themselves. So Rops has a chance, a very small one. He needs a one click banger. Oh, and can't track the jump of Perfecto. It's just a chunk. And Acor could have a hero moment here. No kit, but has got the AK 47 equipped. I think he's just going to save. Yeah, me too. Oof. It's a tough one here. Does he go? Like, it feels like it's winnable, but now that the bomb is almost halfway ticked, that sentiment. It's too many options as well. Yeah, I mean, even though you just said the after plant's weird. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, they could still be on that long side of the big block yeah. there, right? He doesn't know. He, he hasn't cleared it. It's just they haven't peaked him. I want to know where Acor went after Boomich took contact against Rops. Where did Acor go? Why didn't he stop Boomich from falling back from top mid to regroup with Perfecta? That should have been a free kill. Anyway, 
see if we can recap it. I'll catch it myself. Yeah, so I, we'll, we won't see because the frag didn't come in, right? But when Boomich pushed top middle, Aiko was already over towards Donut. Yeah. So Boomich is in Red House fighting Rops. Then Boomich falls all the way back through middle to jump up ledge. So Aiko could have killed him. Yeah. yeah, I feel like Aiko should have killed him. I have to double back. Mm, so anyway, Mao's are about to get the guns back out here. Okay, well yeah, then we yeah. know how big it is. All right. Yeah. I'm going to be lumbering boulders from the local rock yard. Oh, all right. One by one. One at a time. Yeah. <laughs> Pushing it up the hill. Oh, a lot of damage from that little spray and nade combo, but that hasn't stopped the Boomich and Electronic pairing from testing rocks. Can he get them both? The answer is a resounding yes. Combined by that tag and frag from Acor. Simple clearing out cave. He's looked the wrong way. Oi, oi, oi. Manages his angles to perfection. And Bemis, who's previously been a really prominent figure in cave, has lost his life to simple clawing back what was a 3v5 into something a little more competitive. How competitive can they make it, though? So Simple does have this forward position. The other two aren't invested to anything yet. Perfecto and Bit have just scooped up that bomb and are rotating silently through T-Spawn. Now, when you go through the water, I game, hate this. keep your shift key on because if you make sounds, the water in the game is bugged. But that's not intentional at all, is it, right? It's not, but lots of things, know, you know? I There's know. lots of things that happen in this world that are unintentional. But it's just such a shame that in the mid-round like this, where you'd be, you know, you mo it, like think of this as Mirage T-Spawn. Mm. You often find yourself mid-round, rotating back through with your knives out. Mm. It just takes so much pace off of what should... Uh, yeah, I'm over it. I'm over it. Well, I think as well, if you don't have mid control and you were up close mid and you ran through spawn, they could probably hear you anyway. Which, which I'm fine with. Yeah. That's justified. Yeah, but this here, it's, it should be fixed maybe never, but uh, yeah, keep your eyes it on it. It'll be fixed when the wall bank's fixed. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, Christmas is coming too. Bombs dropped. Yay. Rounds should be secured. In fact, though, two nice kills on the way out the door, but it will be the eighth round now for Mouse. They're going to have to get a little bit more steam in their engine. They want to push this one the distance because Na'Vi can afford another buy. And I don't know if they'll go for that all-in Hail Mary mid-play again. Maybe they'll go back tomorrow, that slow stuff. Rob's here. That's a big smile on his face. Thank you very much, Acorn, for that damage, making his life all the more easier. Dexter winning a big fight there onto Simple to stall out any moves that may be coming on in. So one more time, here we go. Quite the prevalent lean over towards A again here from Na'Vi. Just Boomich tucked in towards the pocket one more time. Perfecto throwing nades from Spawn, and then he's going to back up that B lane. Yeah, so Boomich is going to try and sell the typical B take as we've got bit simple and electronic in a pretty solid position to be going for something a little... A execute, perhaps. Electronic lined up for a smoke, but thinking better of it at this point. You can understand that there, right? So Simple and Bit walk into A main together to make sure that if there is any A main aggression, they can trade. And then they just park Bit, and he can stay here and be lurky like upper tunnels flashed off. Fallen back. This is a curious fight for Rops. Yeah, it's a weird one on B in mid. is Getting a bit messy for Frozen. He has gone down. That Bit and Frop Rops exchange actually has nothing to report. It looked like they were about to clash, and... Once again, everyone walks through spawn. Just in case the people at CT hear them. Just, just, could so, be, just so and, and it doesn't happen all the time. Nope, just randomly, and you wouldn't know. And if, it's not all of them either. Cool. <laughs> Imagine if that was a priority. It's all right, Alex. It's not a big deal. It'll get there eventually. No, it's just in the competitive map pool of a million-dollar tournament. Yeah, but it's existed on Overpass for literally ever. Yeah. Like, and for Na'Vi, I will reiterate, this is... An even more juicy prospect, the Pro League. Could very well be the last of their Intel Grand Slam run. IEM Cologne, the Masters level event. Puts them within touching distance. Certainly not the 14th this time around. It looks like Mouse Sports have done enough. Yeah, they're going to be timed out here as well. I, I really like the maneuver that uh, Dexter does where he flashes from the B site. Bit. Don't go down after time here. Oh, and he will. Okay, now, now there's Ooh. enough steam in this comeback for the Mouse. They've shown they did that uh, yesterday when they were playing this against Phase as well. So after they established their control in B, uh, Dexter plays in that wood position, and a lot of you probably never really even taken notice of it. But in that wood position, you can flash through the little gap towards middle. And you can see the flash assist there. That's how they're, brief, they're they're allowing those peaks to come in. Now I know it didn't profit in the way they wanted. They just locked the B side out like absolute gods. But it's a great way to play for info. 
So you can see what different teams are prioritizing here. Bit has a Glock. Yeah. But he yeah. has a smoke and a flash, so it's all about the end round. And already Boomich has lost a bit of a chunk of his health, so watch out for Frozen here. Flashed in. Oh, it's so good. That's the flash. It enables Dexter, or rather Frozen, to find one easy frag, but the rest don't come easy at all. They're going straight through that donut smoke, and poor old Dexter, needless, has got to do a lot. He can sit in the off angle. We know it's effective. We saw Bit using it very well. Doesn't need to actively contest this. He's got an opportunity here and he needs to seize it. Hold the spray, just the one head. And now Mouse Sports, a man disadvantage. Bemis and Acor are on the B side of the map and Perfecto, oh, could not have timed that any better. Acor, just as his feet touch the ground, just as he averts his gaze from Elbend, he goes down. So Na'Vi not really actually having to pay too much of a price for coming in with only three rifles. Yeah, that is crazy. This should have been the round where Mouse could convert against right. the crippled buy of Na'Vi, really apply the pressure and get themselves up to double digits. Now this is Na'Vi 14, just two away, and they've actually really done a big bit of damage here. BMAS is not going to have any money to work with in the next round, so saving this M4 is really important. The loss bonus of 1,400. Yeah, this is uh, the map pick getting away from Mouse quickly here. Strap yourself in for Mirage. Shouldn't be too far from getting ourselves there. I hadn't considered it, but Perfecto, what Perfecto just did there, when you're doing A-takes, is such a luxury. If you have like three of you in A-halls and one of you just sits there for a while and eventually crawls late mid, it's just a lovely late flank donut. You're likely going to be able to deny the plant. If you haven't had contact, if yeah. you have, you cut the whole B rotate off, just like that. Yeah, it's Stay slowly, clear up jumping through with a Mac 10 and already going to be putting a lot of pressure onto that cave hold. I, I liked the way Na'Vi fought for it, which was essentially just through re-aggresses with Util. Rops is trying something a bit different, but Bits crosshair placement is supreme. I'm not talking about overpriced bricks. He doesn't have to do anything more. That's He's it. done so much. Yeah, it's perfect. Frozen's biting on this, and if he goes aggressive, Bit will punish. The B defenders right now for Mouse are just scratching their heads and do we rotate? Are they coming? They were. I, got, I got no idea. I don't know what's on the other side of that and I don't want to find out. Interesting. So the same smokes throughout. Oh, that's a nice denial. It will at least keep them housed and caged. They won't be able to slip through other than, of course, dropping their own re-smoke. Okay, so electronic smoke will last longer yeah, so than... Yeah, so chess and electronic wins. Yes. So <laughs> <laughs> Clever. Cool. I like this game, you know. I it's really fun. Do. Yeah, it is. Uh, Boomich has caught one, but electronic through the power of his own design will catch one on the rotate through. It's... Looks like Na'Vi are just a better team here on Ancient, and this was a Mouse Sports pick. Yeah, they're going to sail to this now. 1,900 in the next. No money for Mouse Sports to operate with, and, well, this one's 15. We can smell 16. Imagine if Na'Vi are good at Nuke, Mirage, Ancient, Overpass. Yeah. I'm sure we can keep going. Dust, Dust two. 2. Yeah. Vertigo yeah. kind of sucks. Yeah, well, they don't. that's the only one they don't touch, right? Yeah. yeah so imagine if they're just good at everything. It could be. Look, Bit is the difference maker. Like, people, if you're out there and you're part of the Flamey fan club and you're thinking, when's Flamey coming back? Flamey, Flamey ain't ever coming back. Not when his replacement is, like, not even a diamond in the rough. It's like they actually just straight up found a full-on factory diamond in the middle of a mine. Yeah, uh, already ready to go. Yeah, pre-cut. And incredibly precise. He sold that A presence early on his own, and the whole team just ended up rotating through the product of his handiwork. So let's get into what could very well be our last round of play. Doesn't look great for Mouse Sports. It's a couple of Pez dispensers, a BB gun, a slingshot, and an old newspaper to defend their honor. They've rolled up the newspaper. There's an elastic band in play. It's a little firmer than your, your standard piece. See if they can clobber Na'Vi over the head with it. I don't fancy Bemis' chances here. It's a little angle over the smoke. It certainly does look a little intimidating, but as it fades, yeah, they know Simple's on his way. Tuck back into the site. It's not for the lack of trying, Mouse Sports, in terms of these opening gambits. 
I like how Navi have been going for this cave control as well. Right, they've been playing through that smoke with a molly. They're just happy to segregate it. Beamass, well, he had a chance with the flash. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Dex is in trouble and so are Mouseports. Navi just starting to stampede into the site. Dexter clawing on. Desperate to hold on to what little he can. A couple of stray bullets on the push. And it looks like Mirage is a couple of frags away. Electronic. 24 will be his final total. Boomich looking to add a couple more to the tally. He is exposed and another headshot does actually mean Mouseports are a bit of a threat here. Oh dear. All on to Perfecto to end it in regulation. And that'll do. 16